Hey everybody, Tim and Randy here for the third and final part of the premiere of The Boys, Season 2, Episode 3, Over the Hill with the Swords of a Thousand Men. Long fucking time. <laughs> Can't do it. Um, the first thing I noticed, my favorite singer of all time is Billy Joel. Seen him in concert, absolutely love Billy Joel. Um, and the fact, like, I kind of skipped over Episode 1 and I kind of skipped over Episode 2, but there's been a Billy Joel song every episode so far so i'm i'm digging it like i'm and it's not like big billy joel songs it's not piano man it's not we didn't start the fire it's not stuff like that like it's little known billy joel songs which i feel like when they're burning down buildings and shit they should play we that song. didn't start the yeah. fire yep which i'm still to this day like billy joel if you ever watch this it's 2020 we need a new we didn't start the fire song like especially, I I agree with it. especially for yeah. this year alone. Yeah. Like we yeah. need like pandemic, blah blah blah. Like <laughs> we need a, we need a new song updated. Um. So overall, I'll go ahead and segue. What did you think of the episode? Oh, uh, this one wasn't too bad. I like this one better than the episode two. So. Okay. Would you like to expand? Uh no. No. Okay. Um. So I think this is the one. Like the first one, kind of laid the foundation. And the second episode kind of laid down more foundation, which I don't know how much foundation you need because I don't wear makeup. Um, but this is definitely the one. Lot. This is definitely the one where it kind of took off a little bit. My question is: we learn a little bit more about the female's brother and his telekinetic powers. Do you need to use your hands to be telekinetic? Like, if I wanted to bring my my liquor cup right there, it'd be uh, like. Doo -doo 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 there you go. Do I need my hands to focus it? Why can't I just, like, look at it? Okay, but you also have to think that this is a TV show. It's dumb. And these superheroes and super villain, villains are made. Super terrorists. So, super villains. <laughs> um, so, I mean, in this case, yeah, for him. you they, 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 All they did was duct tape his hands, and now he's and powerless. He's like, no, you can't. Cause it seemed like, cause he moves his hand. I don't know. I don't know. It just seemed weird to me. Um, the big twist for this one is Compound V goes public. Boop, 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 which I mean, what well, was it? The last episode of season one, the whole thing was them trying to go public, and every company was like, "Nah, we're yeah. good." Yeah. But they did it. It only took three more episodes. Yay! Which everybody was super excited about, except Butcher. Because I think it's that Huey did it without him. I think so. And he was jelly. Because he was just like, good job. Whatever. And everybody's like, that's it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Which it seems like Frenchie so, and Mother's Milk is more on Huey's side. Oh, yeah. No. Especially than, now. Than Billy. Which you had brought up. Like, you don't yeah. like Billy this season. It's not. Okay. It's not that I don't like Billy. It's just that now that he knows his wife is alive and everything, everything that he's done this season... So far, it's just all about him. Like, it's not about them as a group. It's not about um, getting rid of superheroes. It's not about taking down Homelander or anything. It's really just about him trying to get his wife back. Okay. And that's that's really it. Like, he just seems like a selfish little bitch right now. Like, honestly, no. I got shit. Nope, you're good. And towards the end of this episode, I won't spoil it right now. Towards the end of this episode, I do actually like him a little bit more. But that's Go for it. What's, just what's at the end of the episode. What happens? At the very, very end. When they're all sitting on the couch watching the TV. And what happens? And, like, Huey's sitting next to him and stuff. Oh, and he and just kind of, just, like, like, kind of gives him that look, like, yeah. yep, okay, nope, we... we're gonna, we're gonna do this shit, we're gonna do this shit. Okay, like, yeah. I gotcha, okay. Um, so we get that. Um, Homelander, like, pushing his kid off the roof. And I called it. The second, wait, wait. the second they were on the roof, I was like, he's gonna, he's gonna push, push him, him off. I'm like, wait. No! He's gonna push him. He's gonna push He's him. Gonna push He's gonna push him off push the him. roof. He's gonna push him. Heard that until he pushed him off the roof. Told ya! <laughs> and I was right. So, that whole, the whole, I don't know, the Homelander, Becca, Ryan story, I don't care. I don't, I don't either. I'm just, I don't care. I really don't. Like, like that is the, the bottom rung for the, like, the story for before me. that we see Becca going to the... Oh, trying some, to escape their prison. Some random place. Well, they're like in a to talk they're, to... they're like in a prison, and she's just trying to get out. Is what I think it is. Like they're basically oh. in like like a national park, like the village. That makes sense. And she like just drove the like, nearest wall, just and she's like, "Let me out." I was wondering about that. 
ring because I was like, it kind of just looked like she went to like a building, like oh. a well, no, I I, where a I, I think she's building. she's in like this national park. Okay, that's sealed, and Jurassic she's just park? like, let me. Yeah, she's in Jurassic Park, and she's like, let me out. There's a T Rex. Basically, and they're like, man, you gotta go. You're okay, fine. his name is Homelander, and yeah. he's a fucking weird ass douche. And Ryan's the guy. They really like milk. <laughs> oh yeah, he drinks milk in this yeah, one does. too. He it's drinks really milk in every awkwardly. episode. Between okay. Milk and Billy Joel, this season, it's got something going on. Um, so, special shout out. Uh, Frenchie wears a oh t-shirt of Jenny Parks. I'm a big fan of Jenny Parks. I've met Jenny Parks several times. I love Jenny Parks. I have an entire wall of Jenny Parks art. Yeah, it does. And he... <laughs> we're, like, looking at Jenny no. Parks. <laughs> it's great. Uh, I have custom artwork um, yep. from Jenny Parks. Um, but the fact that... I don't know if they had to ask her for permission. Because I know she has, like, t-shirts at, like, Hot Topic and stuff. Yeah. But the when I saw Jenny Parks, like... I think it's the 13th Doctor. And I was like, oh my God, look at that. I was super excited because she's going through a very, very rough time right now. She was just diagnosed with cancer. Aww. Um, she's going through chemo, stuff like that. So like her store is closed right now because like I hope she is doing better. I hope she's doing well um, because like all I said. All her stuff is amazing. All of her artwork amazing. is amazing. Everything from like, uh, like I have all the Avengers and Doctor Who and Star Trek. And then she has stuff like... Um, it's that stupid show that you like. Supernatural. Supernatural. Um, I hate you. Stuff like that. So I was like, where are we going with this? I, I'm hoping because of this that she does a boys yeah. picture. Because yeah. then he wears a Jenny Park shirt and Jenny Parks does a boys That'd be art. Great. That'd be like great. it feels yeah. like full circle type yeah. thing. Um so I loved that. I thought it was absolutely great. Um we finally see Homelander come back um to normal society. Which, I don't know, we never, do we see him leave? There's the breakfast scene, but we don't see him be like, okay, I'm taking off for a while. No, He just don't. shows yeah. up. Um, talking to Maeve about her girlfriend. Yeah. Which Maeve is like, yeah, the last guy that flirted with me, murdered. Mm -hmm. Don't want to see that happen again. Um, so that was cool. Favorite part of the episode, favorite part of the season so far is the whale. It's always a fucking whale, you guys. Actually, it's always an aquatic animal. It's the deep. With shows. Oh. It's, no, just shows in general. Expand on that? It's like Torchwood in the lionfish. The blowfish? I hate you. Um, okay. Like, Jordan poked his head in once again for that one. And it's like, oh, it's like that thing on the Oregon coast from, like, the 70s where they blew up a whale. Yeah. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah. It's, yeah. like, every year on Facebook. It's yeah. like, how and dumb are news post. reporters? Um, yeah. so, but yeah, the fact that, and I loved how the deep is like very Aquaman pose yeah, he was, and like, he's like, what are you going to do? Yep. Can't get to the beach now. And I, the reason I love Billy is he's like, fuck it. How fast can this boat go? Boom. Yep, boom. Right into the whale. It was very sad, but at yeah, the same time it was like, oh shit. And I, then you just see Huey like sit chilling in the whale. Just, yeah. Very Jonah like. What are you doing? Waiting for my second wind. <laughs> This is great. So the whole thing. Everybody's like leaving him and Mother's Milk comes back and sits with him. What are you doing? Oh, well, if which, you're going to stay here, I'm going to stay here. Which I feel like Mother's Milk is slowly becoming more simple. Like he was yes. the badass. Yeah. And slowly he's becoming like, okay, Huey, like, come well, on. I mean, and you have to think about it because he is a dad and everything. Like, I feel like when we first meet him and stuff, like he is that hard ass. But now that he's actually thinking, oh, fuck my family. Like... He's actually, like, thinking like a human adult. Yeah. Um, and then the big twist after the three-part... Like, this whole thing was, like, a three-parter. Yeah. Um, of Stormfront... She's a... Is not a, a nice person. female Homelander, Which you, you guys. Which you thought she was gonna be so anti vaught So, yeah. like... Yeah, yeah, Like, um, Starlight on steroids. Yeah. Like, nope. She's... Nope. She's Homelander in a yeah. dress. So, I even dress. Whatever. Um, but yeah, where she's like killing people and then she like snaps the female's brothers yeah, and Chris. like, yeah. It got really hardcore. Really. She's going to die. I fucking hope so. And you know, actually. and you know the female's going to be the one that kills her. Which I thought it was funny because at the when Homelander comes up and he's like, "Hey, I told you to save him for me." I really thought that Homelander was going to be like, "Oh, nah. you're fucking dead right now." Nah, I didn't but. think so. Just like when like cuz that's the thing about Homelander is like as soon as somebody stands up to him, he backs down. Yeah. 
Because yeah, yeah. Like when he went to talk to the guy, the owner of the company, and he's like, "I don't have oh, to yeah. run shit by you." Yeah. And Homelander just stood there. And he's like, okay. And the same, like, when Stormfront is like, let's, well, let's oh, what does she say? Like, you snooze, you lose, Gramps. Yeah. And yep. keeps walking. And it's like, ooh, fuck. So it'll be interesting to see this correlation. And then they hooked us. Like you said, the first episode, meh. Yeah. The second episode, meh. The third episode, you're like, oh, fuck, oh what's going to happen? Yeah. Wait next week. Yep. So they, they did it. They achieved yeah. what they wanted to. Yeah, because it ends with the news with Stormfront. Mm -hmm. On the and Homelander just sitting back there, all fucking jealous. Mm -hmm. This bitch. But so this overall, I'm excited. Like I'm digging no, season I am two. Too. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, closing thoughts: things that you hope to see, things that you don't want to see. I don't like Stormfront. Like, okay. I actually do want her to die. Okay. Like, Is there anybody on like, the seven you do like? Black Noir. We like Black Noir. I don't mind Maeve. Maeve actually seems Which, pretty good. That was. A, that was also part of an interesting scene, like, when they are in uh, episode two, when, uh, or no, it is this episode, when they come out with Compound B in public, mm -hmm. and he's, like, sitting in the hallway crying. Wait, who? Black Noir. Oh, yeah, 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 And he's, yeah, like, yeah. sitting in the hallway crying about it. Because, like, this is Because he didn't know. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I know, Black Noir is, like, the most interesting character. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Like, I don't mind Black Noir. I don't mind Queen Maeve. I don't like Maeve either. Like, I don't mind Maeve either. I didn't really like her in the season one. But, like, towards the end of season one and, like, start of this one, like, she's more of a likable character now. Because yeah. it seems like she's like, I don't want to be part of this, but I'm kind of roped into it. And if well, I do anything else, I'm going to get killed. Now, see, that's how I felt for season one. Like, the whole plane thing. Yeah. Where she's like, let's just save the kids. And... Home, Homelander's like, no, they'll tell yeah. people that we let everybody else die. Yeah. So, like, she's always been kind of like, let's try to help. And then Homelander's always been the one to push her back down. But I think, yeah, it just progresses more and more, I think. Mm -hmm. so. But I don't mind her. Like, I hate yeah. A-Train. I hate a translucent. Yeah. Obviously, Homelander. Yeah. The Deep um, is The Deep. Like I said, I feel like the Deep's going to be the one with the resurrection arc. <laughs> like, I don't know, him and the weird religious thing he's going through i don't, I don't yeah, know what the fuck's going on with that like oh. so the so far like the main storyline with like billy and the telekinetic kid and stuff like that is really interesting mm -hmm. the b storyline of homelander and ryan i don't care about no and then not. like the c storyline of the deep i don't give a fuck about hey do you guys want some fresca fuck fresca <laughs> i hate fresca anyway it's so gross um anyways any closing thoughts anything no, no, okay. before next week no it's like, gonna be like our the, yeah. this is gonna be our first show weird. that we're not yeah on top of like we go Sorry, through like yes. 10 episodes of doctor who in a day and we're done for a <laughs> yeah. week no now we gotta wait um so for those who have seen this one the end of the three-parter which is also nice because i'm gonna do one episode a day so by the time this comes out on my channel yeah yeah we'll almost be the season the next episode yeah. anyway um, for those who've seen it, what did you guys think? What do you think about Billy Joel? Uh, what do you think about the whole um, Homelander Ryan? What do you think about The Deep? Mm -hmm. What do you think about... The what, Boys. The Boys. What do you think about Stormfront? There's all sorts of stuff going on. Like, there's ten different storylines. Yeah. Um, so go ahead, let us know, and we will see you guys next week for, or at least in a couple days, whatever, whenever yeah. this comes out. Uh, nothing like it in the world.